Hello friends, this video on integrals part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study introduction. We will also study integration as inverse process of differentiation. We will study methods of integration, integrals of some particular function, integration by partial fractions, integration by part, definite integrals, fundamental theorem of calculus, evaluation of definite integral by substitution and some properties of definite integrals. Before we even go to the uh, topic of integration, let's discuss calculus. Calculus as we all know is nothing but differentiation and integration. Differentiation is something which we already know because we have learned this in the past chapter. If you don't know, please watch my differentiation chapter and integration is something which will learn now. In the crooks, differentiation is nothing but the process of finding slope of a curve. Please note, it is nothing but process of finding slope of a curve and slope is nothing but change in y with respect to x that is dy by dx. This is something we have learned. For example, we have this car moving and for this car we have some, let's suppose distance time graph. This is distance and this guy is time. And we have some graph like this. We want to find at this point in time what is the velocity. Then we can find slope at this point. Slope at this point will be nothing but delta s by delta t. That is nothing but velocity at that point of time. So differentiation is nothing but process of finding slope and real life we know a lot of places it is used. If you want to know more about differentiation we can just watch the chapter differentiation videos. Integration on the other hand is nothing but the process of finding area of the graph between I mean area of the graph which is having a curve and x-axis. So it is nothing but the process of cutting up area into small subsection and adding up the area. For example you have this graph let's suppose this is your graph and you want to find the area of this graph from let's suppose this is equal to 0, 1, 2, minus 3 and 1, 2, plus 2. From minus 3 to 2, 2, x is equal to minus 3, 2, 2. This area you get, let's suppose this area and you want to find the area of this graph. How will you find? It is difficult, right? Because it's curved. So what we do is we break this guy into small, small parts small small part this area is like this this area is suppose dx this is small area and we assume that this is flat here and then if this is dx we want we find the y component here and then you multiply you get one rectangle again you find one more dx here again you find this y component here you find area of this rectangle you get another rectangle area similarly you find one more dx here all small small dx right if you assume this is a small dx this is almost same this is almost horizontal and then you can see this is a rectangle similarly you'll find small small rectangles like this right and you'll find area of this and if you add area of these you get the area of the graph so integration is nothing but finding the area of this between this graph the curve area the, the curves the curve part and this x axis or any axis you can take actually you need to find the area and the way it is done is you divide that excess into small small sections and then you find the area of these small rectangles and you add all these to get the big area. That is the main funda behind integration. We will discuss more about integration but just understand differentiation is nothing but trying to find the slope that is dy by dx. Integration is nothing but finding area. So in that case it is nothing but if you see y delta x and you sum this. You sum this. Why did that? If you sum this, whatever you get is nothing but the area and that is integration. You define something like, by like this fx dot dx and you, you integrate this, let's suppose from minus 3 to 2 here, x is equal to minus 3 to 2. This is the convention we use, correct? Because at this is fx at, at some value of x into delta x, you get this area. Again, you again find at this point fx is this guy, delta x is this area. You keep on adding, you know, you'll get small, small rectangles. You keep on adding these and you get the total area and that is integration. This is the convention. We'll discuss more about these. We'll just try to understand that 
differentiation is nothing but finding slope of the curve and integration is nothing but finding area of the curve so the first question that should come to your mind is why should we study integrals i'll take you one uh, give you an example real life example you have this car and you have this car moving and for this car it moved we have let's suppose velocity time graph we don't have distance time graph here this time we have we didn't know the speed actually the distance because it is very difficult to find distance if you're in the car you start from a point it is very difficult to find how much distance you're covering or you can if you don't have a distance uh, thing you have velocity time graph now from this graph you want to determine the position from this graph so you have this some velocity time graph from this you want to find the exact position of the vehicle in this case we have to use integral because velocity is nothing but dx by dt correct or x by t form and you have this t if you want to find the distance covered it will be nothing but area under this curve and if you want to find the area under the curve in the x-axis what you have to use is integration so this is one example where we use uh, integration in the real life you have the car moving you have the distance time you have the velocity time graph and you will find the instantaneous position in those case we use integrals also in case of rockets and all if you see rockets you it's very difficult to find distance covered so but it is easy to find the speed of the rockets so generally we plot the speed of the rocket in time graph but with that, if I want to find where, how far the rocket is from Earth, we can find using integration. That is one actually practical application of integration because in some case finding distance time, sorry, velocity time graph or speed time graph is easier than finding distance time graph. In those cases, we have, if we have this the velocity time graph and with that kind of graph, if you want to find the position, we can use integrals because integral is nothing but the area between the curve and the x-axis and here if you see the area between the curve and the x-axis denotes the distance covered. In the field of science, physics, chemistry, integral is widely used. So if you're applying to move into the field of science, integral is a must for you. Same thing, area under the graph, if you have any uh, function, that is the critical use of this integral. If you have any function and you want to find the area under this uh, curve you have to use integral. So if you have this a curve and you have to find the area then in that case you have to use integral. In the world of probability if you want to find uh, you want to solve real life probability questions there also integral is a must. In the world of finance stock markets integrals is widely used so if you are trying to move into any of this area the science or probability or space finance integral is a must for you so this is what we have learned about the usage of integral let us now see why should we study integration so let's suppose we have two figures this figure and this figure in this case let's suppose the length is 10 and the height is 5 given here also, let's suppose the length is 10 and height is 8, let's suppose, because longer. I have to find the area of this. Finding area of this is very simple, that is 1 by 2 into b into h, because it's a right triangle. And I can find the area as 25. If it is centimeter, centimeter, it will be centimeter square. Correct. But in real life, all the figures are not so simple. All the figures are not right triangles. There are complex figures like this where it has some curves. In such case, where if I have to find the area, the question is find area, right? These are the mathematical figures which for which finding area is simple. But in real life, we have figures like this, right? The curves. How to find the area of this? Finding area is not that simple in this case because we don't have formula now. Now comes the integration. With integration, if you see, what we do is we divide this into small, small rectangles. So what we do, we divide this into small, small rectangles. Let's suppose rectangle one, this is rectangle, this is one more rectangle, 
So like that we divide into small, small rectangles, small, small rectangles, right? You see? And then, and when we assume that the length of this is very, very small, that is h if you can see, very small, h is almost 10 to 0, right? And we find the area of this. So if you take any, any rectangle, any rectangle, this rectangle now I'm taking here, this particular rectangle, this my width of this guy is h and what is the length of this guy length will be nothing but if this point is let's suppose uh, a and this point is let's suppose b and this time this is the nth h if you have let's suppose or kth h right because you have let's suppose kh before this right so this this is the rectangle i'm talking about so this will be f of this point that is nothing but a plus kh a plus kh correct this will be the length of this and this is the width of this why because y is equal to f of x y is equal to f of x so this is nothing but y, my y portion right this length will be y and y is nothing but f of x and x at this point is a plus kh and we will vary k k is equal to from 0 to you say b minus a by h you you vary k from 0 to this point you get different rectangles and you add all you add all right that is you add this guy this is one area right this is l into b another area will we get uh, you just keep varying k from 0 to from here k will be what k will be i think b minus a minus 1 by n into h i this is what you get you'll have some values and we will explain all this thing later just understand that finding area for such figure a symbol finding area for these kind of figure is difficult how do we do this we, we get small small rectangles right find area of these small rectangles and then you add you add all these rectangles area for example in this case you add all this rectangle area right you add all these rectangles area and what you get is this kind of area so, and that addition is done by integration. So, integration is nothing but you you have all the small areas. You keep adding, keep adding all these all these rectangles. What you get is this area, and this process is nothing but integration. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.